Darwin's theory of evolution breaks down when it comes to humans. We can extract DNA from the bone marrow of fossilized remains of beings that we used to believe were our ancestors. And we didn't descend from many of the other forms. We showed up as far as 300,000 years ago. And the kicker is that we can now look at the DNA and reverse engineer it and say, what did it take to get where we are? And what scientists are now calling the, the smoking gun is uh, human chromosome number two. It's got about 1,200 or so genes in that chromosome. And just one of them, gene TBR number one, is responsible for most of the brain that we have for our, our neocortex. So our humanness, our empathy, sympathy, compassion, love, our cognitive abilities. Where this gets really interesting is where did chromosome two come from? Scientists have the answer, but they don't like the answer. Proceedings from National Academy of Sciences, the volume Genetics, says this very clearly. We conclude that the origin of human chromosome two is the product of an ancestral fusion of telomere to telomere fusion of two pre-existing chromosomes. That does not happen in nature. It can't happen in nature. For plants, animals, insects,